be here tonight. Yeah. Thank the Lord again for another opportunity that we have. Yes, Thought about what a blessed day we've had. Well, God's been good to us. Amen. 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 I thought, you know, if you look around and see how uh, this, the, the rain that he sent our way. Yes, I thought about, uh, he knows exactly what to send, when to send it. Amen. 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 I for sure appreciate the service last night. Can you hear this one? Yeah. 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 Appreciate last night, brother. We can hear it now, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. But I do appreciate last night, amen, brother Dave. Right. Appreciate the same. Amen. Appreciate most of all the Lord. Amen. 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 But I thought about that and recorded, so I hope and pray that everybody's prayed today. Looking for a good one tonight. Amen. amen. I thought about I uh, don't want to take up a whole lot of time. Uh, any objects uplifted? Hey. Oh, yeah. Any special spoke? Let's come for us. Bless you, Lord. We thank you again tonight. Father, we're here to see your God. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings. Father, you have us on us. Thank you, Lord. I pray to you tonight, God. We thank you, Lord. 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 We thank you,
It's really good to see this good number tonight Amen. and to feel the presence of the Lord both nights. Uh, the singing has just been wonderful, hasn't it? Yeah. Amen. I appreciate the good singing and appreciate the great, great preaching last night. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I appreciate Brother Dale and and uh, always good to be with Trent and all you folks. We've just all kind of got used to one another by now, ain't we? Yeah. I look around here, we've all bumped elbows on the altar and cried. Yeah. And uh, we're just trying to get out of this place. Yeah. We really are. We're just trying to get out of here, ain't my mother? Yeah. There is a bright side somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I want to make you, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I do, Brother Leo. I, I want to make heaven my home. Amen. I, I, I pray tonight if you're here and you don't know the Lord, or maybe you you kind of like Israel was at one time, uh, you're halt between two opinions. You really don't know which way to go. I pray that you'll make the best choice. Yeah. Yeah. I can't I can't lie to you that even the Lord said in His Word that there's pleasure in sin. You, yeah. you can have a good time for a little while. Amen. For a little while. And you don't start thinking about a little while in your 20s. No. You don't start thinking in your 30s. But when you start hitting around 40 and start getting a little bit beyond that, you realize just how little a little while is. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When you start looking in the obituaries, Brother Coy, and uh, you start seeing people that you went to school with, Come on. people that you knew, and then you get calls to preach funerals of uh, people that's younger than you are. Come on. You realize really how uh, how short this thing is. Yes. Come on. But if I can make it on the inside of that gate, that's what's going to happen. Give your Bibles turn to Jeremiah chapter number 20. I want you to pray for me tonight. I need the Lord's anointing. I, I need to get anointed tonight. I do. I want the Lord to help me uh, so much. I want to be a blessing to God's people. I just want to preach a simple little old thought tonight in Jeremiah 20. We all heard this all of our life uh, in uh, verse number 7. Ben Songs wrote about it and uh, been really, really uh, good scriptures. Uh, but if you knew the state of mind that Jeremiah was in when he said this, Brother Nathan, amen. He was, uh, uh, he was a man that was troubled. He was a man that was broken. And uh, he had every intention of quitting. Yeah. You Bible readers know what I'm going to read, don't you? He had every intention of laying it down and quitting. Amen. But there was just something that wouldn't let him quit. Amen. In Jeremiah chapter number 20 and verse number 7, he said, O oh Lord, thou hast deceived me. I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I and hast prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me. For since I spake, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil. Because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me. I derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him. Nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart. As a burning fire. Shut up in my bones. It went to the heart to the bones. And I was weary with forbearing. And I could not stay. That's all that we'll read tonight. And uh, when you get somebody to preach. Uh, last night we heard Brother Dale uh, give his an account. And I told him today I wish I could take something like that. And hey man, and, and turn it into a, a great message like that. But when you get a man to preach you have to. Uh, listen to what he wants to talk about. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Amen. So for about 10 minutes right. tonight, uh, you got to listen tonight for some reasons why I don't want to quit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I can't speak for nobody else tonight, uh, but I want to talk tonight on some reasons why I don't want to quit. Yeah. Amen. And I hate to say it tonight, but uh, I, when I heard a statement like uh, uh, Trent and Brother Dale said last night about uh, just in a year's time, uh, so much much can change, yeah. and certainly yeah. I bet it has, and yeah. I, I'm a to even make my boast of who I am, I amen, because I've seen people uh, just in the last few months that, yeah. uh, that I thought had such a hold on God, uh -huh. yeah. amen, had their anchor, yeah. brother Dale, yeah. I, I mean, had a hold of God in a way yeah. that I've never dreamed, uh -huh. that they ever turned their back on uh -huh. God, but, uh, but I can't think about them, uh, uh -huh. brother, I can't look down because Peter's a Now we got 
folks in our land and country, uh, uh, brother preaching, uh, that you can get saved and you're sealed. Uh, and then you got people like me that preach you got to live right. Uh, and then you got people preaching you got to endure to the end. Uh, and all like that. I, I tell you, I'm not here, uh, uh, brother, to debate all of that. Uh, I'm just telling you, I've got, I can't quit. Uh, because I've got to make it. Uh, uh, brother, to my eternal home. Uh, and now the Apostle Paul. Uh, statement like this. He said that shall we not all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. I tell you why I've got to stay with it. Because there's coming a day Amen. that everything that I've done in my body, every out of word that I've spoken, everywhere that I've went, everything that I've done, brother, I'm going to give an account for. And I don't know about you, but I've seen the terror of the Lord. I've seen the fury of God. And brother, I've seen God. A brother working ways. I'm reading about him in his word. I friend when I when I was lost and undone. I brother, I was on my way to hell. I seen the hell that I was a going. I wake up in the middle of the night. Are you listening to me tonight? I brother some reasons why I can't quit. I can't quit. I'm because I'm still afraid. I brother of the devil's hell. to dream and I'd be a falling down in a pit and down and down and down I'd go I remember screaming out God get me out of here get me out of here and I'd wake up in my dream and I'd be so glad brother it was just a dream I could see myself a burden and my mother was a praying for me God don't let my boy I'd scream out in that flame. I'd say, Mother, get me out of here. And they was a flame. A fear put in me as a 16-year-old boy. And when I think, preacher, do you ever I get cold? Sure I do. Do you ever make mistakes? I sure do. But the reason I can't quit, I think, oh, God, if I turn my back on you today, the Bible said if a righteous man, I turn. From his righteousness and go back to sin. All the things that he done. I mean, the day you decide and to go back and sin, I'm not be the very day that the Lord would call you here. And friend, you don't want to leave here. I wouldn't it be a sign? My brother, all the revivals have been in, all the good meetings and church services that all of you've been in. And then if we miss the mark, I pause. And tell me tonight that they ain't no falling away. I'd have to say you're crazy. I bet there is. But I can't speak for nobody else. But I can't quit. I've got to keep going. I've got to see what's on the other side. I've got to hear the Lord say, I'll enter thou in. I'm not good. I'm not faithful servant. I pray tonight. Yeah. Where there's not much fear, yeah. it seems like that we're in a day yeah. where people ain't afraid. Yeah. But if you're here and you're lost yeah. without God, yeah. if you're here tonight in sin, yeah. no. a brother, you don't want to leave here. Yeah. I'm lost tonight. Yeah. God sent this tent up. Yeah. A brother in this community, yeah. for a reason, yeah. I'm gonna reach out to you. Yeah. God knew you was here. Yeah. God saw you this morning. Yeah. He washed you to the day. And you're here tonight. He loves you. A citizen. It's time tonight. The revival's come to your community. At the door of your soul's been knocked on. It ain't me. It's God. He loves you tonight. And you need to come and rather see what this thing is all about. I can't quit because I'm afraid. I, had, I was privileged. I've sat beside. I've been down. I don't know if you've ever 
never seen anybody die or not, but I have. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I've seen a lot of people die. Yeah. I've been a pastor now for about nearly 30, 28 years. I've been in a lot of hospitals. I've been, when I first started preaching, that was before they give them so much drugs. I've been, when they leave here, they just wouldn't die in their sleep. Hey, Amen. Some of them left here screaming their own head. I'm burning in hell. I've been, I've got to make it. Lord God, that can't be me. That can't be me. That's the basic preacher. If that's all the reason why you got saved for, it ain't much of a reason. I can't help it. That's it. That's all the reason I got saved. Amen. I didn't know nothing about Jesus. I didn't know nothing about John 3.16. I just saw a young boy on his way to hell. I'm going to burn in the flame. And brother, I knew I needed help. Amen. If you need help tonight, there's somebody here to help you. A good message to preach. Oh, okay. Amen. Most of the messages that I preach anymore. How brother they're hammer every time. It seems like hammer, 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 hammer. Amen. Not much uh, not much ease, but now. How Jeremiah was a man that preached to the people of God. Amen. He said every time, Lord, that I preach your word. I'm in the region daily. Now they look at me and they laugh at me. Now they mock at me. You hear me tonight. Amen. They may mock at you down the job. And they may laugh at you and you tell me get together. Because you don't do what they do. And you don't live like they live. But there'll be a day. You look at it from 
the bless God you've forsaken me. Yeah. How God you've deceived bless me, Lord. Amen. 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 But I get I get down sometimes and I get to question it like yeah. Job did. God, why am I going through this? God, why am I going through that? I hear Brother Dale sing that song. I don't understand the reason that's me. I don't understand the reason for this valley. I don't understand. But I know one thing. I can hear that witness of man. And that's reaching out of that cloud. And tell what your Bible said. I've been compassionate about it. Amen. They're everywhere. And then you think, well, there's about 150 here tonight. Oh, no. Amen. There's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands around us tonight. I can hear old David. Amen. Reach over that cloud and say, hey, Jason, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not hold. He taken me to lie down. Then green patience. And then he said, he prepares a table Pastor, and I preached your funerals. Godly people. Somebody said, Why did they die? The world wasn't found worthy. Who in the world would bring her people back? Who in the world would want to go dig mama up and bring her back? Who in the world would want to go dig daddy up and bring him back to this place? Rainbow flags are flying everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. the courthouse and debating over the babies. Yeah. Whether it's right or wrong to kill. I can hear some of the yeah. old saints yeah. of God. Hallelujah. Come on. When an old deacon's here, when I first started pastor, he prophesied to me on his deathbed. Yeah. He said, Jason, amen, sister, he had sat in the bed. 
He was unconscious for days. I'd go see him. He wouldn't say a word. He meant he'd just do this and raise that hand. That's all he did. Come on. He'd take that hand back down, brother. Yeah. Leo. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Nurse, come in. I said, "What's he doing?" She said, "He's been doing that all day long." Well, I went back to see him right before he died, and he come alive, come awake, and he said, "Jason." He said, son, I want you to preach that word. He said, my own family is going to come against you. My own family, my own children is going to turn against you. I've been preach that word. Now, sometimes I get down. Now, sometimes I feel like I'm preaching it too hard. Ain't that too rough? But I can hear old bro Paul. Ain't that that old deacon of mine? I lay it on his deathbed. Ain't that saying, preach that word? I preach that word. Ain't that about you? You got anybody in the cloud tonight? Do they ever talk to you? Hallelujah to God. Amen, Brother Leo. Ever hear that old daddy of yours? You ever hear that old mother from that cloud? I said, just keep on, son. I keep on running the race. I can't quit. They won't let me quit. Then I'm about done. I can't quit for the, for the judgment of God. Come on. I can't quit for the cloud. This will be it. I can't quit because 2,000 years ago. He just laid on the post. Go ahead, boys. Take your whip to me. Hallelujah. When I get down, Hallelujah. Well, I can't quit. I ain't gonna call it Gaga. That was in the Hebrew. But in the Latin it was called Calvary. I can't quit because of Calvary. six men to hold them thieves' hands. There's a fight in every way they could. Hey man, to put the nails in his hands. But when he come Jesus' turn, he just crawled right over on the post. Load that hand down there. Go ahead, boys. Hey Amen. Hallelujah. Nail me to the tree. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. Caleb wanted a mountain, didn't he? Did Caleb want a mountain? Hey Amen. His mountain was over yonder on the other side of Jordan. Hey Amen. Jesus was waiting on his mountain too. Just outside the city. Whoa! At the top of the place of the skull, a little mountain called Gagata, called the place of the skull. Hallelujah. I can't quit when I think about what he did. How he loved me. He knew all the mistakes that I'd make. He knew all the failures that I'd make. But he went ahead and died for me anyway. If I die and go to hell, you hear about me ten years from now. If time goes on, hey man, you say Jason's quit. Hey, don't you ever think it was God's fault? It ain't the church's fault. It's because I wanted to quit. He loved me tonight. He loved you tonight. I can't quit because when they took him down off of that tree. I'm getting ready to preach something here. Come on. Are right, y'all listening? Yeah. I can't quit because when they took him down off of that tree. And Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus craved and begged the body of Jesus. They anointed him. They cleaned him up all the blood. I can't quit. I can't stop. Because they wrapped him in grave linen. And they went and they put him in Joseph's new town. Yeah. Come on. I love to preach what I'm getting ready to preach. Because what I'm getting ready to preach, every great guard from here, hey man, to the, from the south, east, north, and west, every great guard in this world, hey man, are getting ready to hear a voice. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I said I can't quit! Because on the east 
Easter Sunday morning. Yeah. Very early in the morning. Yeah. Came Mary Magdalene and she below the window. Yeah. And they said, Mother, who shall roll away the stone? Yeah. And when they got up, two men was sitting on the grave, on the stone. On, and said, Women, why seek ye the living among the dead? Wait a minute, give me two more minutes. No, you got one ready? I can't quit. Because seven days later, yeah. come on. Yeah. The door being shut. He disappeared unto him and said, Peace be unto you. Yeah, Lord. Amen. I don't know how they done it. I don't know if they opened their mouth, but he went. Come on. Come on. There's something in me. Yes, they are. Amen. I said there's something in me. Is it in you? If it is, we that walk in the light is he's in the light. Makes me love my enemy. Makes me bless him that curse me. Makes me do good to him that's about to be used to Makes me shout. Makes me dance. Makes me happy. Makes me pray. Makes me read my Bible. Makes me go to church. Church can't be faithful. That's right. Come on, preachers. Yeah. Yeah. And Thomas didn't show up for church that day. Yeah. Yeah. Laying out church that day, the church bell rung. All my mother disciples were there. I don't guess I'll make it today. He comes in the letter and said, Lord's here. Thomas, where's you at? Yeah, come here, Tom. I don't believe that. Yeah, come on. Uh, Tell me about last it. Last time I seen him, heard of him, his tongue was coming out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah. His right. bowels had run down his side. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I don't believe that unless I see the hands, unless I take my hands and touch his side. Yeah, I'm not believing. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as he said that, here he come again. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Y'all glad y'all shake back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I said we're gonna have a little old time meeting this yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, let's get undignified. I mean, let's just dance a little bit, shout yeah, a little bit, yeah. run a little bit, praise the Lord. First time I ever heard my wife shout was in a tent revival. I heard her shout, and I never heard my wife. My wife's a quiet woman, and she lived. I heard her shout. Then when I come to myself, I was a hundred yards from a tent, passed out in the yard. <laughs> Somebody said, I, you must be Pentecostal. I got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Jesus Bless said, Philip, come to Thomas, come here and touch me. Yeah. Then the Bible said, they had meeting after meeting. 500 sent him at once. Yeah. And then I'll close with this. I can't hop just enjoying one of them. Yeah. 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 So they said, why does preachers keep saying they're going to quit and they can't go because they enjoying what yeah. they're doing? Yeah. Yeah. They'll never ask it no more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not preaching about Jason. I'm telling you about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And they talked. Yeah. He taught them. And they let him, followed him out as far as they could go. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, one of them old big white puff faces. Yeah. Yeah. One of them old big white puff clouds. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I flew to them. Yeah. And y'all, yeah. I flew to them. Yeah. Never thought a man could walk on one. Yeah. Right. Never thought that could happen. But up here on the Mount of Olives, <laughs> when them clouds come down, yeah. there was Matthew and Peter and James and John and all of them women and all of them was there. And all of a sudden that cloud just come down. Jesus says, "Man, in the cloud, yeah. 
started receiving him. You know why I can't quit? Because of what them angels say. That's right. You know why I can't quit? Because of what them angels say. Somebody said, Preacher, tell me what they said. I'm going to tell you. They said, You men of Galilee. Well, stand you here, guys. You ain't ready tonight. Play for me, good brother. I'll let you know, Kayla, when to get ready. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. Some of you here now, I need to talk to you as back sweet. There ain't nobody here to condemn you. Ain't nobody here to look down at you. And ain't no need for us to sit here till midnight and talk about what happened. Ain't gonna do nobody no good. You're just away from where you need to be and you know you need to get back to the house. That's you tonight. I ain't gonna come bother you, but we're here to have revival. I know these preachers, people praying every day that God could bring people home. Max Slaughter, I'd like to know tonight. You used to have joy, you used to have peace. Jeremiah said, I, I, I'm going to quit. And then in the same verse, he said, I can't quit. Yeah. I've been like that. <laughs> if you're here tonight and you're not exactly where you need to be, could you raise your hand? I'm going to come to you. I'm going to pray for you. Can you just raise your hand? God bless you, man. Thank you for your honesty. My heart goes out to you. Is there somebody else tonight? You used to walk a good holding this way. You used to be on the Jericho Road. Read your Bible every day. Sing the songs of Zion. Have peace in your heart. You had to let I know there's at least three or four more. You're just not exactly where you need to be. It's okay. Hey, we're here to have revival. We're not here to hurt you. We're not here to condemn you. There's nobody's chest sticking out any bigger than anybody else's. From the preacher right down to the pauper. It don't matter who you are tonight. Is there somebody else tonight can raise your hand and say, Preacher, man, that's me. I used to have it, but it ain't time to The first step in getting back is admitting it. Some of these good brothers has done admitted it. Notice that I'm calling you a brother. Even though while you're away, because I'm going to have faith tonight, you're going to get back to the house. The sons are going down. Mama's are crawling. She's a hollering, supper time. Supper time. Get in here, boys, before the dark comes. Get in here. The mother of the church is a crying. I wonder tonight, some of you ain't never been saved. Never been saved. There's a lady got saved last week in revival. She said, I thought I'd been saved before, but I've never felt this. There's a lot of people in churches who got that testimony. They thought they'd got saved, but they never had the Holy Ghost. They never felt the power and the touch of heaven. If that's you tonight, could you raise your hand and say, Preacher, I'm lost. God bless you, friend. Is there another right now could raise your hand and say, That's me, Preacher. Bless you. Is there another right now? Raise it up and write that down. I'm lost tonight. I lost your heart to pounding out of your chest. You can't hide it. God's a talking to you, young lady. God's a talking to you. Tears as are coming down your face. You say, preacher, what is that? That's God in conviction. He don't have to talk to you, lady. But he loves you. Amen. God in Jesus' name, we need you right now. We're over here to have revival, Lord. We're over here to see a meeting, see a move of God in this community, Lord. God, the people's coming, Lord. They made sacrifice, God. They lay aside, Lord, the garden, their yards, and their jobs. And, Lord, they filled the tent up, Lord. And people's praying, God. And hands is raised in honesty tonight, Lord. They need to get back home. Others, Lord, lost, never been saved, God. It's time now. It's time now, Lord. Would you do what you always done? Would you do what you're the best at, Lord? Oh, I know you made the earth, and I know, Lord, you calm the water. But you're the best at saving souls. Oh, God, you're the best at saving. In Jesus' name. All right, look up here at me. You that raised your hand, come on right now. What she says, come on right now. Let's don't waste another second. Come on. Come on right now. Get up and come. Come on, we're going to heaven together. You ain't going to die and go to hell. Your mama prayed too many prayers for you. She loves you tonight. You need to get up and come on right now. Come on right now. God's talking to you. 
Don't make me sit here for the next 10 minutes and sweat and beg. God's done talk to you. You've done admit it tonight. You're on the wrong road. Now get back up here and get on the right road. Come on, God. Come on, God. They said, young lady in here trying to hide tears in her eyes. Came there, God, to deal with you, sis. You need to hear his voice and harden up your heart. This ain't the preacher, man. You reject and you reject to the Lord. You have no promise of tomorrow. Saints of God, we can't quit. We've got to make it over, boy. You've got a precious, Nathan, you've got a mom over, don't you? you got a wife over. We've got to make it, brothers and sisters. We've got to make it tonight. Come on, right now, get up and come. One prayer is not going to hurt you. We're not expecting you to walk on water tomorrow. But you got to start somewhere. you got to start somewhere tonight. Right tonight. Why don't you just come and let these men come around you and pray for you. Pray for your soul. Pray for your soul tonight. Your soul is the only eternal thing that you have control over. It's your soul tonight. But as for me. Oh, come on. the message up in Kentucky. My text was, I hope I'm wrong. Brother Roger, it seems like revivals is over. Conviction is over. Baptizers are over. Nobody's getting saved. I hope I'm wrong. Now, friend, we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's been laid in your lap. You're going to do one or two things. You're going to accept or reject. Don't reject the Lord. Would you come right now? Let me ask you this. Keep saying, sis. Would you get up right? Do you care enough about your soul? Them old preachers did this. Somebody said, where did he learn this at? I learned it from the old preachers. Long time. Long time. You, you care enough about your soul. You know you lost. But you said, preacher man, I'm not just really ready right now to commit to God. But I know you got enough sense to know you don't want to die and go to hell. I preached at our church Sunday the best thing, the best gift that anybody could have is common sense. Just pure old common sense. If you care about your soul tonight, you'd like for the people in this tent to call your name out in prayer. Would you get up right now and just come and shake my hand and go right back to your seat? It's all right. God make his kingdom up here. However, he wants to do it. However, he wants to do it. However, he wants to do it's fine with me. He got to get my stones from Abraham's. Raise up stones from Abraham's children. That'd be fine. I'd like to ask you right now could you just come? Every which way you come, I'll come in. Could you just shake my hand tonight? Say, preacher, that's me. Would you pray for me? Is there one right now? Now that little girl, she may not mean, but you think, well, that's young. I got to tell you a Bible story. Sometime in disciples said, "Now get them young ones away from you." Yeah. I mean, we get we got time for. I mean, it's husbands and wives and men and women and our daughters. We ain't got time for the children. Jesus just set him on his lap. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You know why you won't get saved? Cause you're too big. 
know why you won't come home tonight? You're too grown up. But the Lord won't be taking it except you become a child. That's a little child. I wonder if them angels are in the presence of them angels and them angels are flapping their wings while this little girl's praying. Unless you become like this little boy. You can't go in. Thank you, Dad. All right, we're going to pray. I remember being like this. Preacher, preach on hell and turn me to death. You know, you know what made me want my mommy to hold my hand? It wasn't from watching scary movies. It's when the preacher preached on hell. I said, Mommy, would you hold my hand tonight? I, I couldn't sleep in my own bed. I was too chicken. I lay down right beside the bed, beside her on the floor. Preacher been preaching on hell, and I've been worried about going to hell. I said, Mommy, would you hold my hand? Hey! Mommy's wanting to hold your hand tonight! Thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow night. Lord, send a revival. Let's have it. Lord, send a revival. Lord, send a revival. Cancel all your prayer meeting services. Bring all your churches over here tomorrow night. Tell them we're over here having a revival. Good night. God bless you. Good to see you, preacher.